Aquarius, thanks for visiting. Um, this is your reading. I won't say when it's from or when it's to because I'm late, obviously. I'm getting this out for you though, so hopefully uh, you'll enjoy this or you'll get something out of this. I'm just going to start right now so that it's not any later than it already is. Okay, so the first card you have you passed is uh, the Four of Pentacles. Okay, there's a really, really, yeah, there's a really strong feeling in this card. I'm seeing a couple of different things. Um, the first thing is, it, it feels like an inability to accept something. It's like, you know, it's like someone's told the truth. Someone's been told the truth. They know something. They know the truth, but they can't accept it. They don't believe it or, uh, you know, they, they don't want to believe it. And uh, yeah, they just wouldn't let go. They wouldn't let go of this. It's like, no, I'm right. I, I don't want to believe that. I'm not listening. I'm, you know, I'm just holding on to what I think. And uh, it feels a little bit like they wouldn't let you go as well. But yeah, they wouldn't accept what you were saying. And um, I think this is someone, yeah, they have a lot of problems. They have a lot of problems. And I think the biggest problem might be that um, it's not just with you. It's, it's with a lot of things in their life. They won't accept the reality of things. They won't accept the reality. They can't accept the, the reality. That, that's what I'm getting. Um, yeah, this is really strange. This is what I'm seeing. Um, I'm seeing bombs. Uh, one of those classic kind of round bombs with a spark. It's like a, there's an emoji. It's just like that, like a bomb. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, they have all these bombs. And this is what's happened to this person. Um, I think through their all, all through their life, you know, what happens is a bomb goes off. And, and sometimes these are self-made bombs. Not literally, but, you know, they've gotten themselves into situations, explosive situations. And, and what happens is they just try to put a lid on the bomb when it's happened, when the problem's happened. And they just put it away. They try to do that, deny it's there. And of course, it goes off anyway. A problem happens. And, you know, they're, they're always in denial. So they have these disastrous situations behind them. And then they just try to bury them. But of course, that doesn't work. And I think what was happening here is you, you, you were trying to tell this person, you're trying to say no, uh, you know, no, you're saying no to them, uh, that they're wrong and they have to change and that you're not accepting something and they just weren't having it. Um, yeah, I keep on feeling that they're around you. It's like they're in the, your energy. Uh, they might even be living with you or near you or something. And I think you were trying to take steps to change the situation or do something about that. Um, it feels very clingy. It feels like Velcro. Uh, I know that sounds a bit cruel, but it's if this is you, uh, you'll know about this. This is a very, very difficult person. And... There's a bit of danger around them, uh, not physical danger, but um, they're difficult to be around, very, very difficult. It doesn't feel good to me. That, that's what I'm getting. The other thing I'm seeing in this card is uh, there's a lot of work. It feels like a bit of a drudge. Um, if you look at this man, he's wearing a crown and there's a great big coin on top of his crown. And um, yeah, it looks obviously it looks really, really heavy. And it feels like your crown, you, who you truly are, um, was sort of just buried under things, um, under things you had to do. Uh, and obviously these are coins. So, uh, you know, this is probably the daily grind of, you know, day to day work and you had to do all this. And of course, everyone has bills to pay. Everyone has to do that. But it feels a little bit more than that to me. It feels like, you know, this this used to be fun. This was fun once, but now it doesn't feel fun. That, that's kind of what I'm getting. So I think something might have changed, might have been in your workplace, uh, where you kind of feel as if you were valued once, you know, you had your crown on once and you were respected once, uh, but now it's been covered by the coin. So people saw your crown and now you might be feeling as if, um, yeah, it, it feels like you're part of a machine instead of being seen as um, a valuable person, an individual in your own right. So, you know, if, if you've seen changes in this workplace, in the structure of the workplace or whatever, um, if it's all changed and I think the atmosphere's changed and the culture's changed even, um, there is another change that's coming in. Um, I think someone else might be taking over or something like that. So, yeah, there's a big mix-up that's coming around this. Um, and I think you might eventually move on to something else. It might be something where you work on your own, actually, because, you know, this man's on his own. 
and you know he has his back to the town where everyone is so so yeah that's what i think is probably eventually going to happen to you it might have happened already because this is in the past or you might be thinking about uh, going out on your own okay so uh the next card you have your past is uh, the five of cups so yeah whoever this person is who's around you or they're around your energy i think they are physically around you actually they can't handle what you're telling them they can't handle the truth there's something you're telling them there's something you're trying to tell them and they can't handle that they're like no 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 they're insisting that uh they just don't want to listen or they can't handle what you're saying um and, and they are a bit of a problem to you they're quite difficult i keep on seeing that um but what i'm getting is you know you're not telling them this to say, ha ha, you're wrong, you know, I'm right. It's not like that. It's not about that. You're trying to get them to learn. You're trying to get them to change because there's this pattern. There's this pattern behind them and around them even. I keep on seeing, um, you know, all these different things have happened in their past and some of these problems are self-inflicted, some aren't, but the ones that aren't, uh, it's it's like the way they've dealt with things. Um, they've kind of made things worse so I think you're trying to help them with that and you're trying to help them to change uh, for the future so they don't keep on doing the same things um, but the thing is if this is you if this is what you're trying to do um, I just think you know they're going to have to recognize that on their own you know I think you know the universe has obviously tried to give them all these lessons um, but they haven't listened they will one day they'll have to but there's only so much energy um, that you can keep on putting into this before you just have to uh, let this go in some way um, you know but even then I'm getting this I just keep, keep on feeling it's hard for you to let go it's hard for you to let this go because they're around you or they're around your energy and there's some kind of difficult complicated situation around that as well I'm not sure what that is but it feels very difficult for you to move out of this situation that that's what I'm seeing okay so the last card you have uh, for your past is uh, the three of pentacles okay let me just yeah okay so this is what i'm seeing in this card um i'm just i'm just having a look at this because i'm looking at this um and the four of pentacles together because it's kind of okay yeah so yeah this can be about workplace situations and sometimes it's about having to work with people or or even in situations that you would choose to be in so that's obviously where you are if this is all resonating and, and look at this as well look at these coins here these three coins they look a bit like cogs in a machine um, and i was seeing that in the four of pentacles you know you used to feel more like an individual uh, you know there's a lot inside you a lot you can contribute a lot of very very unique things but it's kind of like what it feels like it, it's like um, the individuals kind of being buried it's it's being buried by a machine if that makes sense you know everything's kind of done a certain way um, it's set to rules it's you do this you do that and, and nothing kind of fits outside of those rules if that makes sense um, and again I'm seeing some changes coming to this workplace freshness a new person coming in sort of like they're coming in with a big broom and they're sort of sweeping everything away changing things around but I think by then by the time this happens um, you know for a lot of people uh, and for you and for other people as well um, you know the heart's already gone the heart's already out of this people's um, individualities or their sense of um, themselves their individualism um, that's already been pushed aside for this machine that that's what I'm getting I hope that makes sense um, so yeah I think there are a lot of people who are going to leave this behind I think and uh, yeah if this resonates I think you're probably going to be one of them um, and if you feel that if, if you feel that this is about you and you are thinking about uh, going out on your own or doing something else when you do eventually do that I think it's going to be a really good thing it's going to be very very liberating for you um, you know it's like you're going to be able to keep your crown uh, like this man in the four of pentacles and your money as well um, and that's what's going to happen at some time that's what I'm seeing so it's really good to see that um, reassurance for you if, if that's what you're thinking of doing all right so the first card you have your presence the knight of wands yeah 
Okay, so if you do have this idea about going out on your own, uh, whether that's a business or it might be contract work or something, you know, I know it can be really, really scary. It can be really scary when you've worked for someone uh, or a company or whatever, and, and you know, you're relying on that set amount of money. It can be really scary, you know, at the thought of losing that. You know, it's like, oh, if I go out on my own, I'm going to lose that. Um, and you know, and, and quite often people are brought up, and I was brought up like this, you know, it's like you go to school and then you go to university and then you get a job and you stay there. It's all very secure and everything. You know, well, well maybe jobs were secure at one time, but, but there aren't many that are secure now. And, uh, you know, when you compare being on your own with working for someone else, to me, um, I think they're probably just as secure or as insecure as, as, as each other. Um, you know, people, yeah, people can have retirement funds through work and things like that, but, you know, there are similar things available for people who are self-employed, and um, there are so many different options and things you can do about that. I mean, really, these are just little things. And, and yeah, as well, you know, there have been scandals, a lot of scandals where, you know, companies have taken people's savings, retirement savings, and they've put them all in something, and they've lost money, and then it's all disappeared. So, you know, I don't want to make, make people worried about their savings if they're in a job. I don't, I don't want you to feel like that. That's not what I'm trying to do. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with having a normal job or, um, you know, I do, I have a normal job. I, ha I do other work apart from this. So yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. I'm just trying to point out that being out on your own, um, you know, if you've planned things properly, if you've set things up properly, um, you know, it can be just as stable or even more stable sometimes than working for someone else. So if this is what you're thinking of doing, if you are um, a little bit nervous or you're a bit up and down like the horse on this card, take your time, plan things, go into it slowly. And if you do that, and you, know, you can keep your job, you can keep your job and go into this gradually until you're ready to, um, you know, be totally on your own. It can, you know, take your time. There are lots of different variations between right, I'm working for someone else all the time and I'm working for myself all the time. You know, there are variations in between as well. So don't see this as a big stressful thing that you're kind of jumping into. Um, yeah, I'm sorry that was so long. I, I was just seeing someone who was really worried about going out on their own and I just want to encourage you or, or whoever this is for. Okay, so the next card you have your presence, the Eight of Wands. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot of communication here. I don't know if this person's an ax, this person in the Four of Pentacles. It feels like they do have a lot of feelings. They do have a lot of love for you. Um, and um, I, I can't quite tell. I'm just trying to, I can't quite tell whether this is platonic love. It might be a, a relative, might be a friend, or if this is romantic love. I, I wish I was able to say, but it's very mixed here. So if this is resonating, you'll know which one this is. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of mixed up energy and yeah, they're a chaotic person as well in a lot of ways, chaotic, a lot of chaos. Um, I'm just looking at this in the Knight of Wands at the same time and I'm just seeing this person kind of rushing off, doing things without really thinking or, you know, they get themselves into things and then the results aren't good, obviously, but, um, but then they just try to bury the problem and then they just go out and do more things again, more of the same. So, yeah, if, if this is someone who lives with you, uh, you might be feeling really mixed up yourself, really messed up with all of this that's going on. I'm just looking at these wands and, you know, they're flying over this house and it looks like they're getting away from the house or they're leaving. But it also looks a little bit like they're about to fall. You can see they're about to fall and crash somewhere. So it might be that... Um, you're worried that if they leave, they might crash or something bad might happen to them or something like that. So, you know, if you'd like this person to be more independent, but you're worried about them, um, you know, just see if you can phase things out slowly, um, if that makes sense. So, for example, you might say, OK, by this date, I want you to have done this. Uh, and by this date, I want this to happen, you know. And, you know, I just hope that that might be a silly suggestion, I don't know, but I just hope that all makes sense to you because I'm just getting this feeling that it's not as easy as someone just leaving or moving out. It has to be done carefully and there's a lot to unravel 
there's a lot of a lot of little kind of problems that aren't on the surface um, and there's a lot to work through so you know just work through it very very slowly with them if, if that's what you feel that you need to do um, okay so the last card you have your presence the five of wands everyone has this card this week just about everyone I think this is the chaos season it is with me okay so yeah anyway yeah again this is a lot more complicated here it is complications mass it's a lot more complicated than someone just leaving um, I think you might have some people around you sort of saying something like oh just tell them to leave or just leave or do this or do that and you know they think it looks like um, you know the, the eight of wands really streamlined easy no obstacles in the way but your reality is a lot more like this card um, it's messier it, it's more complicated and okay yeah I know I know we all need to vent problems um, and if we have them and you do have problems um, and you know if you can find a safe person to talk to a non-bossy person someone who's not like me um, if you can find someone like that to talk to yeah absolutely talk to them but I think you do have people around you who you might be talking to um, and they're telling you uh, this is what it looks like they're telling you what to do um, but they have no idea how complicated this really is and you know really some of these people they give their advice and you know it's like you're supposed to do what they say and just kind of deal with the consequences but they don't have to deal with those consequences you do they go they go off into their nice homes and they sit down and everything's fine but you have to deal with what they're telling you to do so um yeah so please please just be careful of um just be careful of who you share this information with uh and maybe just think about i hate categorizing people but you might have to do this think about two categories of people and you know the people who are safe to talk to uh, one group who truly understands you and they want to listen to you properly and another group another category where uh, they don't and you know talk to the first group about serious things and talk to the second group about the weather <laughs> So I hope that makes sense to you. Yeah, don't only talk to those people who really, 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 truly care about you and understand you properly. That's that's the message there. Okay, so the first card you have for your future is the Two of Cups. Okay, yeah, when I first look at this, it looks really, really nice. Uh, yeah, it, it seems nice. It looks nice. There's, there's someone else around you. Uh, I think they do listen to you, which is good. Um, I don't think you talk to this person about these particular problems or anything like that. You do have some really good conversations with this person. Uh, I'm seeing you getting a lot closer to them. You're getting closer and closer to this person. This is what I'm seeing. Uh, and it's through your conversations. So you have conversations, you really kind of click with them, you get along and you have more conversations and you get closer to them each time. That's what I'm seeing. now. There is a little bit of, um, there's a bit of a feeling of, oh, maybe we shouldn't do this. So just be careful, you know, if you feel yourself getting closer to this person and you know this might be something that uh, maybe you shouldn't be getting into, uh, it might be fine, but I just want to tell you that I just wanted to warn you because, um, you know, it might be that they're already with someone or it might be you, I don't know, but I'm just getting this feeling of, we're getting closer, uh, you know, we, you know, we enjoy get being together, we're very close, it feels good, but there's a little bit of guilt there, and that's there for a reason. If I'm feeling that, it's there for a reason. So if this is about you, um, I don't want to judge you, that's not what I'm here for, but I'm here to warn you, you know, when I see things, and it, it just doesn't feel good to you, to me, I should say. It's, it's, you know, it doesn't feel clear. That's what it, it doesn't feel clear. It doesn't feel like the cl the slate's clean, if that makes sense. So, it might be that uh, there's someone else around this, a third person. So, just watch out. So that's all I'll say about that. I don't know if you know that or not, but yeah. Okay. So the next card you have your future is the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this feels very practical to me. This card. Uh, so yeah, I'm seeing work here again. Um, yeah, I think what this is showing you is that, uh, you know, again, if you are thinking about going out on your own, definitely do something like build up a cushion, uh, build up some savings first. Um, 
you know, personally, I don't think you're going to need them. I think you're going to go quite well. Everything's going to go quite well when you do go out on your own, if that's what you do. Um, but this is about a feeling. It's about feeling secure, feeling ready to go out on your own and, and sort of having that foundation behind you so that you're not as stressed, you're not as worried. It's like, oh, I don't want to do, make that decision. I might lose money. And so if you have that cushion be behind you, uh, you're not that fearful. And, and look at all the growth in this card. This is where your growth is. This is where your wealth is. And uh, I know it sounds like I'm trying to sell it to you. <laughs> I'm not, but this is where your wealth is. This is where your abundance is. So yeah, if you're thinking about doing this um, and you're not sure whether to start, just make some kind of a start now. Doesn't mean you have to do this great big launch or this big announcement. Just do some little things. Start saving if you haven't already. Start looking into how you can start, uh, you know, make some you know, make, make a few little starts somewhere. I'm not sure what you need to do, depends on what you're doing, but do something, start small. Um, just start small, that, that's what I'm seeing in that card. This is really, really good, really good growth here if you do do this. Okay, the last card you have, your future's the hermit. <laughs> I'm not trying to sell this to you, I'm really, really not, but look at this, on your own, <laughs> we've got the hermit. So um, it's, it's all over this reading, you know, these cards are all telling you, they're all encouraging you to think about, at least make a start or at least think about or plan um, going out on your own. Follow your own path, follow your own star like this hermit. He's got this beautiful star in his lantern and he's going along by himself following that. Uh, and yeah, that's the way to your abundance. That's the way to yourself. And that's the way to having, which I'm looking at this four of pentacles again, that's the way of having the coin as well as your crown because you'll be independent by yourself you'll have your own crown you'll be king or queen of whatever you're doing plus you'll get the coin plus plus you'll have that abundance you can have both and uh, yeah you can dissolve both that's what i'm seeing beautiful beautiful reading i love this so aquarius i hope this resonated as you know general readings can't always resonate uh, but again if you like this reading please like subscribe leave a comment if you would like to Thank you so much for your patience and thank you for watching.